Dear winners of the photo contest of the ODP Nuremberg, thank you for participating in the uh, contest and congratulations you won. Tomorrow at 8 o'clock your photo will be posted all over the town of Nuremberg. Yes! So, apparently I've won a photo contest here in Germany, this is my first German photo contest that I've won. Quick background of the contest, one of the parties uh, wanted to make a really interesting campaign that is fixed on local photos and they made a local photo contest uh, for the town of Nuremberg and they wanted photos from around the town that correspond to their topics. So a couple of days before I read uh, about the contest, I was out shooting as uh, I regularly do around the sea, some street photos. And uh, as I was reading through the categories, I, I thought to myself, I have the perfect photo for, for the emissions uh, topic. After all, this is ODP, that, that's the uh, Ecological Democratic Party or something like that. I'm not quite sure how to translate it one to one uh, in English. So uh, they apparently used my photo for one of their posters and posted it all, all over Nuremberg and I'm going to pick up one and Rainer and go try to find one of my posters. Okay, so we have half an hour. <laughs> so you're already filming? Or? Yeah. Where, Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you see it? Yeah, I see it from here. Okay, I mean, barely. Like, that's out of the way. <laughs> By the way, did you have um, eye tracking focus? Uh, no, in video, no. It only has face, de face detection, I guess. Okay. I don't know. Is it working? Sort of. Very slow. Big, bigger than I expected. Yeah, I thought it was gonna be like. So much money for they want to save money so they just steal it. <laughs> not spending so much on posters. Can I just pick this up and take it home with me or something? <laughs> no, that's what you do with the IFD posters. <laughs> you just leave yeah, them up I'm and pretty sure this is kind of illegal if I take it. Yes, maybe. <laughs> they couldn't have made it smaller. <laughs> Is it readable? Let's hope it's readable. I mean, it's it's 4K after all. Damn, yeah, my photo looks good. Not bad, not bad. Oh yeah, almost forgot to show you this thing. This is actually the poster. I cannot even fit it into the frame. It's uh, size A0. So just I managed to get a hold of one of these. This is freaking amazing because this is the this is the biggest print I've ever had. I'm going to this. this is humongous. I mean, just look at it. It's it's amazing. It, I actually can crop out all of the political stuff and I can frame it and this is going to be my biggest print to date.
I have to say, like, cash prize, that, that's nice. I mean, cash, who, who doesn't love uh, winning cash? But seeing my photo printed out so big and all over the city, uh, for me, it was worth much more than the cash uh, that they gave me. And I mean, first of all, every photographer needs to see at least one of his photos in such a big format. And uh, yeah, the rest is free exposure all over the town. Although my name was so, so big on the bottom of the poster, I don't know, maybe someone saw it, maybe not. Um, in any case, all of my friends in town send me pictures with a poster from all over the area. Quick disclaimer here, I'm not trying to impose any political views or anything like that. Uh, the fact that I participated in this contest was uh, clearly only because I, I thought that I have a good photo for the, that fits the category. And I actually delayed the release of this video because I want uh, the local campaign to be uh, over or almost over by the time this video is up so it's not associated with uh, the upcoming elections in any way uh, and uh, yeah let's talk about some photography contests first of all today is full of all types of contests all over the internet so it's hard to distinguish which are fake and trying to uh, steal your photos or something like that and uh, the real ones also there is another point that needs to be discussed here as well is uh, are the contests free or paid and if they're paid does that eliminate the option for uh, the contest being fake actually it's quite hard to find real photo contests that are free to uh, enter but as well it's hard to uh, distinguish which photo contests are not scams just trying to pick up uh, uh, entry fees uh, so there are a couple of um, major photography contests uh, that are worldwide and actually I've read that uh, you have a high chance of winning there because not a lot of people uh, are willing to pay the entry fees uh, some have like uh, 100 uh, 200 euros per photo entry fee which is in uh, my mind too much I always look for free contests and the things I'm looking for in these free contests uh so i can apply is first of all that they do not want uh, rights to your photo in any way you keep the original rights to the photo you might give them something like rights to publish it uh, in news articles about the photo contest or use it on their website or something like that but the general rights to the photo stay with you yeah second of all i prefer contests that are like this one uh, that, that is uh, coming directly from an organization that it's uh, well known that it has a background uh, that can be checked and you can see it's not actually a scam uh, and uh, especially here with a german party uh, this is uh, uh, it's actually a really good opportunity to feel safe that no one will see your photo and use it without your acceptance uh, because there are a lot of strict laws here in germany regarding photography and copyrights and so on and so on so yeah, that's pretty much my criteria for a photography contest online. Uh, I would say that maybe, I don't know, not more than 5% of the uh, photo contests that are existing right now are um, legit in my mind. Most of them do feel like a scam, especially the free ones where it says, yeah, there is a $10,000 award or something like that. Uh, most of them uh, have somewhere in the in the tiny tiny description on the bottom stating that uh, when you submit your photo you're giving up the rights uh, some, sometimes uh, these rights uh, include directly that uh, they can uh, sell it to third parties uh, that goes for uh, some some of the well-known uh, websites uh, in this uh, category uh, I, I read somewhere about uh, 500 pixels that uh, they were caught doing uh, crap like that. So be careful, always read the fine print. And uh, good luck to all of you when you participate in a photo contest. Let me know down in the comments, have you ever won a photo contest? Uh, what was the biggest award that uh, you have won? Um, by the way, regarding this contest that I won right now, I didn't mention uh, that uh, it involved a cash prize as well as, um, of course, the fact that uh, my photo was all, all over the town with my name on the bottom and um, 
apparently they, there might be an exhibition or something like that but due to the fact that the results came in a bit late they didn't have time to do that prior to the uh, campaign and i think they're not allowed or something like that to do such things during the campaign so i'm there might be something later this year in during the autumn or something like that Thank you for watching and uh, don't forget to click that like button if you enjoyed this video, you know, subscribe, all of the, the things that go on YouTube. Uh, so yeah, see you in my other videos guys, thanks for watching again and ciao!